Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we're going to be talking about how to create and make sure we choose the right strategy for the race conditions ahead. There's been so many times where I've been prepared for a race, I've practiced in the dry, quality's been in the dry, and as soon as the race starts it is either greasy or going to rain in five minutes and just whether or not to take the gamble to just throw the wet tires on or to throw a wet setup on or stick with the dry tires it can be race ending if you get the get the decision wrong and sometimes you're going to get the decision wrong it's very hard to preempt the weather on ACC perfectly all the time so um, this video is just going to be showing you guys and the, sort of the telltale signs of things you need to look out for now first of all what I'm going to show you guys is the track um, time the time and track conditions is quite important you have to sort of focus and make sure you you are aware of the the actual track conditions as in temperature and the, the time of day so you know whether or not you're going to be driving into cooler conditions or whether there is the possibility that the track is going to heat up and that's quite important um, to, to get to know them things so let's get stuck into this video i hope you guys do like it if i can get 50 likes i'll appreciate that so much so as you can see conditions are greasy at the moment um which is notoriously very very difficult to decide what to do but for me the first thing i would look at is the actual track temperature now it's 24 the race is actually set for six o'clock in the evening so i do know the the temperatures will be cooling down instead of warming up because obviously the sun's going down so we already know that the temperature is likely to drop you can see that in 15 minutes time the rain is actually going to increase now a lot of the time you know especially in the past i've just gone well it's going to increase that guarantees it's going to rain it must rain heavier because the time of day is so i would just go full-blown wet setup and it's not always the best way so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to try and what we would do if we want to keep our tires dry it's always important to be on the right tires at the right time at the start of this race it's definitely going to be dry tires so um we're going to go dry tires and what i tend to do is i go up between almost you know make sure i'm on dry tires i go up between almost one and a half to two whole psi so i'm probably going to go up about one and a half psi or or maybe two I'm not too sure and i'm um, just going to make sure that because i know the track is wet and because i know the track is guaranteed to get a little bit wetter because of what i've seen by the radar i'm actually going to go up i'm going to over inflate my tires to actually make sure that when the rain does come in i'm still going to have a little bit of grip on the tire left because if i do leave the tires underflated or normal dry pressures then by the time the rain starts coming down my tires are going to be blue i'm going to have no grip going to be graining them up and honestly it's it's just so difficult to drive when your tires are well 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 um, under pressure so we, we need our tires to be around 27.5 so we've gone up on our tire pressures then we're going to go to electronics make sure our traction is up because obviously the track's greasy it's going to be a lot more slippery put the abs up a little bit um and that of course is going to make sure that you know the back end is not all over the place again now we'll move to the the brakes and normally if the track's wet you'd put the brakes on free um but because the track is not fully wet yet i don't want i don't want to leave the brake um, pads on one because the brakes are more reactionary so more likely to lock up if you leave them on one so i'm going to put them in between on two not too harsh on the brakes um, and if it was to go wet, it's not a disaster by having your brake pads on too either. So um, we're going to make sure that there is sort of a little bit of leeway for, for both sides. We're not going to choose one or the other because the conditions are very hard. It could um, rain lighter in, in 15 minutes time. It's not like it's going to go a little bit more heavy in 15 minutes time a little bit more heavy than greasy but there's no guarantee it's going to get any heavier than that so you probably don't want to go full-blown wet setup but what i would do is i'll create another pitch strategy which will be for which will be for wet and um, i'll have a look at the temperatures and what i'll do is i'll just use the, the current pressures if you use the current pressures to uh, set your tires then you don't have to be messing around trying to figure out your tire pressures but keep an eye out on the temperature it's very important 24 celsius at the moment but as i said the time of day is around 6 p.m so we know it's definitely going to cool down so we need to make sure the most important thing is to make sure you have the correct tire pressures man but um as we go down we'll change our current pressures to make sure they're the same as what we are running now so at the pit stop we will know what to address just in case it, it doesn't get wet enough for wets 
we'll know how to address our tires can be running from the exact same pressures that we start in the race with we'll make an, another um we'll make another strategy and this will be a strategy for if it does go too wet so we can um, sort our tires out again we'll put the the tire pressures down a little bit because the wet tires heat up a lot lot quicker so um we're gonna go down by maybe one one psi maybe just to just to make sure we don't over inflate our tires but the thing is is the only thing where you're going to have to do things on the fly is because we don't know what the weather exactly is going to do it could get heavier it can also even turn into a thunderstorm so obviously um before you go into the pit lane you're gonna have to sort of work your tire pressures out while you're on track which can be distracting but at the end of the day it's the only way you're gonna you know get yourself decent tire pressures and another thing i'll do is also i would actually change the the ride height a little bit the rear of the car is already jacked up a little bit but i always go up on the the front ride height that's to make sure we don't sort of hit any puddles on the plane if it does get really wet you want to sort of keep your aero balance not too far away from your original balance our original balance was minus 5.5 it's now minus 6.0 so not too much of a change because you technically you don't want your car to feel completely different to how it felt before so um yeah try and keep your aero balance similar because i've gone up on the front which is going to give us more understeer i'm actually going to put the brake bias a little bit more rearwards that's going to help us with rotation in the slow corners but yeah now we're going to start the race and just going to feel out how the car feels and see you know um see if the conditions feel decent enough for us to survive for long enough so when we do transition over to the wet tires whether or not you know we feel like we've made the right decision at the moment what i tend to do as well is i leave the windscreen wipers off and uh that's just gives you more information to how heavy the rain is and how much is coming down at the moment it doesn't seem that bad it will get more more distracting as we turn corners as you see the the raindrops actually slide across the screen which is pretty cool but um yeah now we now we can see our tires 27.5 they're actually at the right psi for dry tires but depending on how wet it is they will drop so let's see how this goes um trying to push through the middle at the moment this is pretty risky man but um trying to get some some clear air we, we actually just want a few clean laps so we're not actually racing them one we just want a few clean laps to see how fast we can go um how much grip we have and you know just when we can sort of make the right decision when to change over but at the moment decent start the car doesn't feel too bad man um you can see already look at the psi is dropping so we are quite lucky that we did over inflate the tires because it's definitely needed when the tires are too low you'll notice a lot of sliding a lot of sort of grain across the surface again what you want to do is stay away from braking on the on the curbs because that's where the water is going to store the most um obviously especially like when you when you lock up on the curb it's so hard to get off man so hard to get off for some reason the ai is like ridiculously quick in these intermediate conditions man ridiculously quick absolutely going off in the in the old aston but yeah as you can see at the moment our tires 20 26.8 so even though we went up we overinflated our tires you can see how much we actually are losing but again one of the things you have to remember is depending on how much cars there is on the track that is quite a lot of water clearance so if you do sort of uh you know gamble to go on the wets you have to realize the driving line is going to be extremely dry it's going to be the last thing that is going to the last thing that's actually going to get wet so if you feel like you want to take the, the risk for the wet tires you better hope that the weather's coming in very 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 soon um because you're going to absolutely burn your tires to death and this is where it's sort of you know it's a it's a guessing game man do you take the wet tires hoping that you might save a a pit stop or do you just stay on the dryers where you're probably going to be quicker for maybe the first 10 minutes of the race and in that time you're probably going to want to you know build up a decent gap and uh, but I'll, I'll share with you guys when i do do the sort of wet strategy next i'll share my thoughts on that gamble um looking at the conditions how they are at the moment with the weather changing in the next 10 minutes going to get heavier it's it's a it's a 50 50 on one side you've got the wet tires that will you know at the beginning of the race will probably be extremely difficult to drive and on the other hand if you do take the wet tires manage to survive for long enough for the rain to actually make a difference um so the wet tires can actually come good so um always always uh in the balance but for now on the dry tires we're going to keep on going this is the important time we just try and extend as much as we can let's just imagine that some people have actually started on the wets 
this is the time where you have to make the biggest difference because this is a time where they're going to be struggling the most and it can be a little bit sketchy trying to go as fast as you can in these conditions but you have to remember if it does get heavier they're probably going to save themselves a pit stop but you know it's it's always always a tense moment for me driving on a wet track on dry tires because at any moment you know every lap is going to be new that's one thing i love about a set of course every lap is going to be a little bit more tricky than the lap before as it gets wetter and wetter and wetter best thing to do is always stick as much as you can to the driver's line don't try and put a wheel off on the wet stuff because obviously you know you, you just want to stay on the driest parts of the track to keep your tires warm for one if you do go off track if you do go off the line it actually does cool your tires down so you know in temperatures where you know it's obviously getting cooler you're probably not going to get that heat back so you try and stick to the driver's line as much as possible when you're on the dry tires of course if you're on the wet tires you're probably going to want to do the opposite in these particular conditions because obviously your wets are just going to be completely burning up but we can see now in 10 minutes time it's going to get even heavier so now we know that the race is definitely heading towards more and more rain so this is the time where you really have to think about what tire pressures you use for your pit stop because if you know the, the weather is getting heavier you kind of have to predict how much psi you're actually going to need bearing in mind that the psi for a tire for wet tires is 30.5 you have to predict the future so you really want to be setting your your tire pressures to how how high you need them for maybe half an hour's time not for how high you need them right now so that's the mistake a lot of people make they sort of set their tire pressures for the actual stop and the conditions at the time you need to be setting your your tire psi's for the conditions in the future so when you're half an hour into the race the tire pressures are still applicable otherwise you might end up having to pit again if you pick for wets and let's just say you know you just you add a little bit of psi in at the time of when you pit your tire pressures are perfect but what happens if the conditions get a lot heavier then your tires are probably going to be around two whole psi too low in the rain and then your car is just going to be awful so um always always make sure you're setting your psi's for the future of the race not for your current situation and that way at least you're helping yourself by not messing up maybe the last stages of the race which is very easy to do um but you can see now as the tire pressures are dropping obviously the temperature is also going to be dropping because we're getting more and more rain we know the race is going more in towards the even you can see us sliding around at the rear a little bit 47.4 is our fastest lap we're still keeping it in the 47s i don't know what sort of lap speed the guy at the front's got he's absolutely off um but yeah i can feel it getting a little bit more and more slippery as we head into the last sector and especially around Kialami the last sector is quite easy to catch you out and like points of the track that become more difficult it's definitely going to be like the corners where you have the trail break the corners where you need the most traction to get out of the corner that's where you're going to notice a lot of the difference in you know um how the rain is affecting your your uh, rain's affecting your car but you can see our our pressure is dropping by the second instantly dropping 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 so yeah we're gonna we're gonna stop that now you can see now the track's gone too damp um you can see in 10 minutes time it's actually gonna get even heavier the track temperature has dropped two celsius since we started the race so now i'm gonna you know switch switch up and i'm gonna jump on wet tires and see how you know that strategy fares in the current conditions um our fastest lap was a 47.4 um in these sort of conditions there probably won't be too much difference but We'll talk about the pros and the cons so as we will restart this race um this time i'm going to jump directly onto the wet tires and um i will show you guys the small changes i would do for for wets obviously first of all um switch up to the wet tires we'll go to the psi's we're going to put them psi's down to what they were before so we're going to put the psi's down by two because we went up two i believe so we put the psi's back down to about 26 remembering that we want our psi to be about 30.5 for the the wet conditions so um yeah we're gonna put that down obviously we are sort of setting it you know setting the conditions setting the tire pressures to what we hope you know what we hope is going to be about 30.5 and the warm pressures we're going to go up on the brake ducts because obviously the wet tires heat up way way quicker than 
what the what the dry tires were in these conditions, man. So um, let's try and see what it's like in the wets. Um, same thing again. Well, we, we kind of know what the we kind of know what the weather's going to be doing because we've already tried it. So we can pretty much put our windscreen wipers on a lot quicker this time, I think. Um, but yeah, let's just see how the wet tires handle these greasy conditions, and you know how long it takes for the tires to actually, you know, get into the range that we need. I'm predicting these tires to get seriously hot. Look how slow we're going, and look at the temperature building up already. We're not putting any stress for the tires at the moment, and already you can see them going, going green already. Even just on accelerating, look how much temperature we put into the car. So we actually get a much better start than last time. Trying to thread our way through the middle, and uh, yeah, definitely um, a tricky situation. But at least when you get into the braking zone with the wet tires. Even if you have to go offline onto the wet patches, you know you're going to have more grip than you would um, on the dries. But already look at the damage we're doing to our tyres. Look at the edges of the tyres completely burning up. And if you do take this strategy route, you have to remember, you really do have to try and keep the, the uh, slide into a minimum. Especially on the wets because if it does get wet enough where all the dry runners have to pit, you don't want to damage your tyres so much so that when they pit, they're going to be like a couple of seconds of that quicker because they will cancel out any advantage that you have within probably 10 12 laps they really will be probably around two seconds of that quicker so um you have to remember that and that is the sort of risk you take with this strategy and what, what you're really looking for or aiming for is the rain to get a lot heavier that way that even if the guys on the the dryers do pit when they do pit and put their their um fresh wets on they're probably gonna make a hash of the tire pressures because if it does let's say it turns into a thunderstorm if it does get really heavy then they're probably not going to have the correct pressures on their car whereas you're trying to stay out and maximize um maximize the the conditions to where later on in the race when it does get wet when you do have to pit you're going to be much more able to to find the correct tire pressures and that's sort of the risk you want to take but you have to bear in mind you are leaving yourself open for a massive undercut and with the damage that we're doing to our tires now we're then being 33.5 already we're having to go and go in the, the wet parts of the track to really try and cool the tires down because this is hurting us big time although i don't actually feel like it's that much slower i feel like the the times might be quite similar to the dry runners at the moment um we'll see at the end of this lap i'm not too sure if it's going to be as quick but definitely we know the damage that we're doing man and as i said the guys who end up pitting earlier they're going to get their fresh tires on they're probably going to put their tire pressures in a much better window than what mine are in at the moment they won't be damaging their tires anywhere near as much and they're probably going to be maybe a second a second and a half a lap quicker if you're if you're lucky so um you kind of have to push on but without you know really taking massive chunks out of your tires because even if it does get heavier the amount of the amount of uh fret tread that you're taking off your tires the amount of the uh actual you know wet grooves in your tires that you're going to be taking off on these conditions you're probably not going to be that fast when the track does get really wet so you have to bear that in mind as well also the temperature we know the temperature is probably dropping quite significantly now because of you know our experience from the from the last the last race that we did but always make sure you're trying to keep your tyres as, as cool as possible. When you get the chance, do go offline. Make sure you're cooling your tyres down because that's the only thing you can do at this time to save your tyres. Other than just trying to be as smooth as possible. Don't throw your car into corners. Just try and be, in, just try and be smooth. There's not really much you can do to keep the temperatures down. They're just going to keep dropping. And as I said before, the racing line is the driest place on the circuit. So you need to be keeping your tyres off of the racing line. As you can see, you can see the racing line slightly to our left. We're trying to stay on the wetter part of the track just to keep it cool. Not, not, you know, not doing a massive amount, but it is making sure, at least when we're going down the straights, that we're not, you know, adding to the adding to our problems. At 34.1, we are quite far up on the PSI we actually need to, to be like successful. You can see the car starting to slide around a little bit and pretty scary but we do a 47.8 which is about four tenths off of what we did in the in the dry so not actually that much slower um again the ai absolutely bolted up front i'm not too sure what's going on with their pace but 
you know, give me that setup, mate. Give me that setup. But um, if you are, as I said, if you are going to go down this route, you have to be careful. Also, you have to realize that people who are on the dry tires are probably going to be, you know, a little bit quicker than you. So you, you're probably going to be defending and stuff like that. And that's the other aspect to it. You know, you're probably not going to be, you can't afford to be as aggressive as um, the people who are on dryers. They're going to be, you know, ringing a car, trying to get as much temperature into the car as possible. And they know they're probably going to have to pit soon because the conditions said that it's going to rain in the next, or rain heavier in the next 10 minutes. So, of course, you have to think about, you know, your actual race. Do you want to take the risk to be going wheel to wheel, door banging with people? Probably not. I say if someone's quicker at this point in time and really racing you hard, just let them go because you're you know you're thinking about the bigger plan you're thinking about what you're doing later on in the race and you don't want to end up getting taken out because you will probably be slower into corners you'll probably be slower out of corners you don't want to get taken out at this period of the race because what you're trying to do is save yourself that pit stop save yourself that tire change um if it is an hour long race without without changing tires this is you know this point could be where you win or lose the race so i'd say don't try and massively fight people because at the end of the day, you know, you could end up being backwards because people are going to try and dive bomb you if you are breaking significantly earlier than they are. So, um, yeah, try and keep the car on track. You can see we're making little mistakes already. We're losing a little bit of time. But if you look at the tyre pressures now, you can see them slightly starting to come down a bit. And that is because the track is getting wetter and wetter and wetter. And this is where you really want to just bide your time, be calm and just do not make a mistake. This is the point where you can't afford to make a mistake because if you do, then you've just completely thrown your, your advantage out of the window. Um, but you can see the tire pressure is going down and what, what you should be doing, which I'm not actually doing at the moment, is try every time you can, try and drive offline. Every time you can, try and cool them tires down, try and drive off the line. You can see our brakes now extremely cold apart from when i'm hitting the brakes the brakes nice and cold that's also going to help us keep our tires uh tire temperature down now try and stay left try and get on that wet part of the track and we just want to make sure our tires are just going down in temperature because as i said we want to keep as much thread on these tires as possible as much as possible we can see now the conditions are going to get even heavier in the future so now we can see that in the next 10 minutes we, we're definitely making the right decision we definitely see we don't want to be making them mistakes i could have binned it there pretty easily but look the ai actually pitting so they feel like it's time to change over um and what's going to be interesting is i'm going to go back i'm going to have a look at what sort of times the ai is able to achieve once they turn onto the wet tires and obviously if they are way quicker then you know we know it's going to be a tight race and we will be looking for sort of the weather conditions to change even more to the extreme so it may mean that people who pit earlier may have to pit twice which is kind of what the risk is all about um we we're going to try and stay out as long as possible and then when it is clear that you know if the rain is going to get ridiculously heavy like a thunderstorm then that's when we make our pit stop and then we can have the fresh tires we can have the perfect tire pressures and that that's where you you know a race can be won or lost but looking at the tire pressures going around the fast right hander even then you can see they're starting to cool down a lot so i'd say about now about 10 minutes in this is where you can see where the i reckon the, the playing field may be around about level right now um the tires are probably going to be at the same sort of speed and uh, I, I guess um you know trying to keep it on the track is the most important thing but you can see with, with strategy you know you can go two different ways as long as you if you do go two different ways you have to make the best of that uh, direction you've gone you know don't go drastically one way or the other you know if you have gone one way then do that way to the best of your ability because you can never be too sure when weather is random it is random there's no way to actually tell but there is things that you can do that make sure if you have gone even if you get it slightly wrong it, it's not a disaster i feel like you can only create a disaster when you completely commit to one way or the other by committing one way or the other i don't actually mean you know just by choosing wet tires on a dry track or vice versa i'm talking about actually just going full wet setup when the track's dry that to me is when you commit to a hundred percent one condition when the conditions are intermediate committing to one thing all the way is 
it's pretty risky and in, in the past for me especially i remember one race i had in the lamborghini i had an absolutely stonking setup for the wet around Kialami and a very good setup for the dry and it was sort of similar to this the way the race started and i just went 100 percent wet 100 percent wet and the race started it was drizzled and it just never ever got wet enough and i was so far off the pace it was insane the race was terrible even though the day before you know in the practice race you know i i committed before and it actually ended up being wet and the car was rapid you know i was leading the race everything so um yeah it's, it's one of them ones where you really have to be careful but back then i didn't actually check the temperature of the track and if i would have checked it i would have known that it wasn't actually that likely to to get really heavy you know or, or if i would have i probably wouldn't have gone all the way 100 percent wet setup and that way if it stayed dry i wouldn't have just been a sitting duck to everybody so at the moment you can see the, the car ahead's pitted a lot of the cars behind have pitted um i'm actually still losing quite a lot of time but the tire pressures are coming down quite nicely um we can see that the track's still wet getting wetter and the guys on the on the dry tires are definitely going to be struggling now but we're not actually massively fast because obviously we have damaged the tires quite a lot just by running sort of all these laps with the tires being well over pressure which obviously hurts the tire wear but we're going to keep on going and what we're going to hope for is you know the weather to come on get even heavier and the heavier it gets the better it is for us because it means that obviously the car, other cars are just going to have crappy tire pressures like i've had for the first part of the race so um it's, it's definitely a balancing act but just wanted to show you guys man the the, the twos and throws of strategy and, it's so hard to predict and i know a lot of the time in cp races man sometimes before the race starts it can just be anything and then you think wow i haven't even i haven't even practiced rain or or anything so i'm, I'm not too sure what to do with the tire pressures or what to do um give you a little bit of insight into little little changes that you can make and obviously a lot of it is luck at the end of the day but you know when you do make a decision whether to go wet or whether to go dry there are little things you can do to make sure that you know you're just not going to be a sitting duck you're probably not going to be the only one who takes an alternative strategy whichever way you choose to go but at least if you do take an alternative strategy you want to take it in the best possible manner you can and just not leave yourself with just like no chance because obviously let's just say you just go full wet setup by now your tires will be dead you you know the, the handling at the start of the race you're probably going to have way too much understeer to even get into corners because you've just gambled on a wet setup and you're just going to be a sitting duck for everyone and then you're just going to be battling instead of trying to look after your tires but now look at our tires we're almost in the, the perfect range man we're still trying to keep them cool because we still want them at around 30.5 um but 15 minutes into the race you can see it still isn't completely wet you know so um it tells you how long it actually takes to transition with the track temp being around 22 it's still warm enough for the track to take a little bit of time to completely you know completely stay wet there is still a uh, somewhat of a dry line but i would run around about say now if you was on the dry tires you'd be thinking at least now within a couple of laps time that you, you want to be pitting so as i said man it's it's, it's such a it's such a tough thing and it is race destroying when you get it wrong and it's soul destroying when you get it wrong because <laughs> i remember i remember jardia once on on Kialami, he took he took the dry tires when the track was like flooded just because it said it was going to dry up in sort of 15 20 minutes time so he gambled with the dries and as i said when you fully take a massive gamble like that always make sure you're on the right tires at the right time he was a lap down within a few laps you know because it took so long to actually dry up because of the temperature and then that that's what you really want to make sure man so um yeah look at the temperature now down to 21 and you can see it actually says thunderstorm in in 10 minutes so that's that's what we wanted that suits us perfectly fine because now we you just sort of wait for the thunderstorm when the thunderstorm comes i would probably say man you could try and stay out but you, you you'd want to see the difference in how much time you're losing to the cars behind if they're still gaining around a second two seconds a lap then you're probably gonna have to pit um and at least when you do pit you can get your fresh tires on and then most importantly of all you're gonna get them tire pressures spot on for for the thunderstorm conditions um so yeah that's that's sort of my insight on you know trying to take this correct strategy calls and when you do 
take whatever strategy call you go for you try to get it as accurate as possible but um what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to look um i'm actually going to go i'm going to pause it go back to the pits and i'm actually going to look at what sort of times the ai was getting um once they've turned over to dry tires and let's see how fast they are compared to what lap time i'm about to do i'm on for a one minute 51 so we can tell it's getting wetter because we are quite a little a bit slower but um i'm actually going to see what times the ai is getting now so let's let's pause it and have a little look so going on valvere i can't, I can't even say his name but wow he was flying he's back down in the 47 so he's lapping around four seconds quicker than us i don't know if that's the ai being op i'm pretty sure a good chunk of that is the fact that he's just on fresher tires and we pretty much destroyed our wet so if he's got that sort of advantage at this point wow he's gonna catch us man um he's what he was probably around 40 40 odd seconds behind us um let's check the guy behind um he's he's also done a a a 47 now down to 48 so he's about three seconds that quicker so you can see how much it does destroy your tires at the beginning if you do start on wets um a good chunk of this i think is just ai just being op and having abnormal grip but as i said before i do reckon probably about a second and a half of that is just fresh tires man so yeah it's it's, it's in the balance me personally um if you're, if you're thinking of what direction i would go i am probably more likely to just go for the right tires at the right time i'm probably more likely to just you know go with the dry tires at the beginning and then go on to the wets just because you know if you're always on the right tires at the right time you can't actually technically get it wrong you can lose out in terms of someone who's gambled but the majority of the field are going to go the same way as you so you're never going to lose out a massive extent unless of course you make a mistake you know but if you do take the gamble and you get it wrong that's probably more where you're going to be hurt so um, for me personally i always go the direction of take the right tires at the right time and you can't really go that wrong although sometimes the gamble may be quicker but that's you know as i said the gamble is always a gamble but i hope this video did help you guys out man i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure that you guys are enjoying this how-to little series that i'm doing um, next up is going to be how to you know maximize your pit stops and how to get faster pit times man but hope you guys enjoyed the video let's try and hit 50 likes it's scripted tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace Tell me.